So, um, I've just been to my local comic book store and bought some comics. Um, I bought, now I'll get to a point in a minute, I bought um, the Prelude to Infinity Avengers uh, 15, which you'll see has a Marvel Now stamp and a Digital Edition stamp. Um, I also bought Guardians of the Galaxy Tomorrow's Avengers, which I think was uh, a few, really, a couple of months ago, but I missed it, so I saw it come to the shelf, so I bought it. I could be wrong, it could be new, I don't know. Not that well researched on Marvel. Uh, digital Edition, Marvel Now. Um, then there's Tony Stark's Iron Man uh, and the uh, Secret Origins of Tony Stark part, whatever it is, that's issue 12. Marvel Now, Digital Edition. And then on the shelf I see this weird little event which I don't know a lot about other than I knew it was coming vaguely but I don't really know what it's about or what the point of it is. Superior Spider-Man. Uh, the Superior Foes of Spider-Man event which is Spider Month thing. Um, you'll see there it says Marvel Now but you'll notice the lack of a Digital Edition badge. So let's open this up shall we and have a crack at it. Have a look at it. Have a crack at look at it. Um, let's find out what Superior Spider-Man Marvel Month is about. You open it up, you get the cover you would have got if you hadn't bought the variant with uh, the Spider's Month logo down here. Which let's see, I'll show you that's a pretty cool logo. I like, like that. Spider Superior Spider Month. And that's cool, okay. Uh, on the back, nothing, okay. So where we usually find the digital code, we flip to the back and we flip a few pages back to go, okay, let's get a sweet digital code. And no, we've got um, a World War X-Men advert instead. Um, my confusion is, Marvel, what message are you sending? I mean, I'm a fairly regular comic buyer. I go every single week and pick up like a stack of stuff. And I've been reading a lot more Marvel recently because I like to read the digital codes on the on the, the tablet devices. Um, I like to, that's, there you go. I like to read the digital code on the tablet devices. So I've got in the habit of reading this when um, times and places when I wouldn't otherwise read comic books. So you can imagine my frustration when I look at the, and I pick this up and go, okay, so you know, I am a paper collector, not a digital collector, but again, I've got used to reading these digital codes. No code. What the fuck, Marvel? Come on. Just for the love of God, if you're going to give a digital code to everything with Marvel and Airprint other than Deadpool, weirdly, you can't just pick and choose and randomly go, well, this event doesn't deserve one. Now, I understand this is a two ninety nine book, whereas uh, these, actually, they should be three ninety nine books. three ninety nine, four ninety nine for Guard uh, for Guardians of the Galaxy. It's a specialist absorber. Let's read that. Um, three ninety nine for Infinity. So yeah, it's a lower price title, which is why you don't get the digital code. Okay, I get it. I understand that. But really, I mean, this is gonna. I mean, I would assume in the digital folder, this is gonna be a whole separate entry uh, for the foes of Spider Man, which is crazy because it should be on the Superior Spider Man heading. So it's annoying from the start that you're doing this stupid event. Um, I, I've had a look. I can't really fathom what the event's about. It's just to celebrate Spider Man. Um, Peter Parker's all but dead, we think. Doc Ock is taking over his body. Spoilers. Um, and the Superior Spider Man runs getting to a point where it's all coming to a head, and we get Superior Spider Month not instead of Spider Man this month, but as well as. Um, so there's a few other things coming out this month to celebrate Superior Spider Month. I'm not sure why, but I'll definitely look into it. But what got me angry and got me feeling tight—I suppose I do feel entitled about it—is come on, Marvel, you can offer a digital code with some comics. Offer it with all that extra bucks, fine. We don't mind paying. I mean, over here it's extra, what 69p an issue for a digital code that I've really become attached to. Um, yeah, that does annoy me. And then there's the whole thing about digital codes in general. You put your digital code in a book, so instead of being a little leaflet that comes in the book, it's like a set, it's actually printed in there. You pull the little tab off. Let's see if I've got a little tab there somewhere. In case anyone, anyway, I'm just, in case anyone hasn't seen it, these are little tabs you pull off and you, you, you whip them away and they're kind of, they're not even sticky, they're just kind of held on by like, I don't even know how they're held on. Magic, pixie magic, and mutant powers, some X Men's got the ability to do this. But you pull them off, you take your digital code, you type it in, and then you, know, you saw it. But does that devalue the comic? I mean, am I effectively devaluing everything I buy on Marvel? There's an expiry date on these digital codes, which makes me think that after the expiry date, it won't make a scrap of difference whether you used it or not. But before the expiry date, it's quite important. I don't know. I can't fathom it. I've tried to work it out, and I'm not quite sure. So, um, yeah, that's my little rant for the love of God. Um, for the love of God, Marvel, decide are we having digital codes with everything or not? Just make it one or the other. That extra 69 pence isn't really bothering me. I'd like the digital code. I'm not going to go now, though, and buy Superior Spiders and Man Foes on a digital account because I've got it's not going to happen. I'm not going to buy it twice. Um, I am a paper collector. I will collect the printed copy because I think they look nice on shelves. I've got something to pass down to family members and give people to read. Digital code is too restrictive, and I don't trust the fact that I won't get my account banned something stupid one day, or that Marvel will stop offering it and close all the accounts. I can't trust that. If I've got it in my hand physically, I can always go back and read it, so that's the appeal for me. Um, so thank you for watching this rant. Um, you can get us on comicnom.com where we post bloggy things and uh, our main channel which is under the username HexDSL, oddly. But um, that's confusing as well, yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's all it's all good. Uh, but Marvel, what are you doing? Just decide what you're doing, seriously. And DC as well. Come on, digital codes. Well, I'll give you an extra 60p for a digital code of Batman every month. That's fine. Just for the love of God, please do that. Um, so thank you.